Hey everyone, welcome back to another Momentum Monday digital marketing vlog. Today we're going to talk about how to duplicate an existing campaign and create a new campaign from that within MailChimp. So if you're into email marketing, digital marketing, there's a quick and easy way to create a new campaign. Thanks for joining us again. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Turn on the bell for post notifications. Uh, we come out with a video pretty much once a week uh, with a digital marketing blog. And today we're going to talk about creating an, you know, a new campaign from an existing campaign within MailChimp. So stay tuned. Let's jump into the video. So here we are, first things you want to do is log into MailChimp. So we're going to go to MailChimp and you just saw the dashboard there. Um, what I like to do is every week I basically take an existing campaign and you'll log into your account, go to your campaigns and we're going to make it pretty quick and easy here. So what you're going to do, I'm going to minimize my screen. Here you can see the campaign I was sending last week. So typically I create a new campaign off of a blog that we create. If you want to see our blogs, you just go to our website, needmomentum.com. And we're going to put a campaign out about uh, free Google My Business training. So I just launched this blog. So here's the blog. And we're going to promote this out to our MailChimp uh, subscribers. So what I like to do is take the last campaign I sent in the campaigns, go to replicate, and we're gonna take the title here. And we're gonna go into this new campaign, edit the name, and get rid of 21. And you can choose your recipients first thing. So we have a bunch of small businesses here. I like to personalize this tag. So I would say their first name within the email itself. Choose where you're sending it from. I, I like to send it from my Gmail, Mac Frederick Momentum. Uh, don't spam me. And then edit the subject line. So I like to say free Google My Business training in 2021. I wanna say local SEO. Watch this digital marketing and learn how to manage and optimize your Google My Business account for local SEO. All right. So this is really the only part that takes time is editing the actual content. So there's the subject uh, and the description of the email. Then you go to edit design. You already have the layout made from the previous campaign. So if you made a campaign before, you can just edit and optimize this campaign real quick. So once you're inside here, I just change the initial message. This is where it populates their first name. I put a little watch below and then edit the main title I have here and then I link it out. I go to Canva, so I already have layouts that I have saved in Canva. So like this one down here, I can click into that you can see I have these at the bottom. We'll go down here, we'll copy that because that was the previous blog. Go in here. I like to edit this, this takes up too much space. It's 800 by 800, it doesn't need to be nearly that big. 400 by 400, save that. Eat up a little less bandwidth on the email. Put the link in here, save that. And then we have the video. We're gonna take this, copy that, back over here, paste that in, read the blog. The blog is here. Paste that in, save that. And then I change out the, the image, link it to the video. So 
so that's all done for the content side. I switched out the links, I switched out these images. I keep this theme and the style and you can just do that. And then you wanna to go to continue, you know, go to the next step. You can preview it. There's a preview link and you can send yourself an email. Uh, we'll send a test email to my phone. Check it out on the smartphone, make sure it looks good. So get it to your phone, check it out. Most people are on their phones to get their email, check out the links, you know, make sure everything clicks and works and everything. Then I go down below to change out the name of the campaign and the URL for Google Analytics purposes. GMB Management 2021, save that. And then you can boost it out on Facebook. Add an image to it. Choose the image you used. Green, save that. Publish it to Twitter. Da, 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 da. Switch out the image. There you go. Save that. You can connect to Instagram too. I don't like to do that. I don't think it looks great. Get the little preview mode. Boom, there she is. Preview it on mobile. Cool. Inbox. You can see it there, loading. And then you can either, it says settings tracker, you're not using it, blah, 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 blah. I should be tracking that stuff. What are they talking about? Bah, bah, bah. Try to check all the boxes, the standards, you know, go through it the right way. Um, then you can schedule it or finish it later. Here's the draft. Da, da, da. That's good. I send it out. Then I'm going to, it'll send this out automatically to all their subscribers. So they'll all get that email. All right, then go back to campaigns and then I'm gonna send the same email out. I don't need to change the audiences here. Like I have potential client lists and like other stuff in here, but really I'm gonna refresh this page. And then if I wanna send that same email out to a different list, here's the email, replicate it. And this is all I need to change. So I'll go in here, <clears throat> load for me, come on. I'll change out the name. Let's just say potential. So change out the list to potential clients. First name tag, save that. Then you don't need to change out the content or subject line at all. It'll put a new URL here. Take Facebook off, take Twitter off, and send it again. And then I'll do that to a couple different lists. So really that's how I take and edit and optimize an existing campaign and copy and duplicate it into a new campaign and redesign that around the new content and the new message. This took me 15 minutes. It might take you 30 minutes the first time, but you just got to get the hang of it. Um, so if you haven't yet, you know, check out this, this video that I did produce on this for Google My Business Training. If you're, you know, looking to see our latest videos and blogs, uh, this is a really good one for how to optimize your listing and get more traffic from Google. Thanks for watching this video about MailChimp and duplicating and creating a new campaign off an existing campaign. If you have any questions, um, you know, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I appreciate you coming through for another Momentum Monday. Make sure to follow us, and uh, as always, I hope you learned something. Peace.